Good morning class. Today we are going to talk about the story House of Atreus. Are you ready? Very good. The House of Atreus can be tracked back to Tantalus, king of Lydia. He invited the gods to a banquet and served the flesh of his own son, Pelops, in a stool to test their omniscience. All of the gods recognized what they were served immediately except Demeter. She was too concerned with the disappearance of Persephone to notice and ate Pelops' shoulder. The gods reconstructed the boy and Hippastos made a new shoulder for Pelops out for ivory. For his wrongdoing, Tantalus was doomed to Tartarus, where he stood in a pool of water. When he would try to drink, the water would recede. Additionally, fruit would hang from trees just above him but would move away when he tried to pick them. Meanwhile, Oinimos was ruling over Pisa in the northwest Peloponnese and was in love with his own daughter, Hepodamia. To prevent her from marrying anyone else, he offered her a, as a prize in, a possible, in an impossible contest. The suitor had to take Hippodamia away in a chariot and race with a head start towards Corinth. However, Oinimus always caught up to the suitor with his team of horses sired by the wind and invariably killed the suitor and put his head on display at the door of his palace. Pelops decided to try his luck and sailed to Lydia to Pisa with his golden-winged chariot. Drawn by tireless horses, a gift from Poseidon, he also paid off Miritilus, the king's charioteer, promising him the first night in bed with Hippodamia. Myrtilus sabotaged the Oinomus chariot, replacing the bonds, linchpins, with wax, which melted from the heat of the axles as the king raced off. The chariot collapsed, and the reins wound up, dragging the king to death. Pelops refused to give Myrtilus his award, and when he saw him moving to take her, Pelops threw him into the sea. The dying curse, the dying curse of Mytilus affected Pelops in line for the generations to come. Pelops then entered Pisa, became its king, and named the land Peloponnese, meaning Island of Pelops. He fathered several sons, including Thyestes, the father of Aegisthus, and Atreus, the father of Menelus and Agamemnon. Eurystheus has been the king of Messenae, and when, he, and when the Heraclids killed him in retaliation for his persecution of Heracles, an oracle commanded the Myosinines to make a son of Pelop king. Atreus was the older and more sensible choice, but Thyestes insisted that the new king should be the one to produce a fleece, a golden lamb. Atreus was delighted with these terms and agreed because he had a golden fleece hidden safely away. Or so he thought. Years later, he had promised his best sheep to Artemis as a sacrifice. But when a golden fleece ship appeared among his flocks, he kept the fleece instead. His wife, Irope, knew his impiety and gave the fleece to Thyestes, her lover. 
In this way, Thyestes triumphed. However, Atreus was certain that Zeus wanted him to be king. So he declared that as a proof, Zeus would make the sun rise in the west and set in the east the next day. When this actually happened, Atreus took the throne and banished Thyestes. Atreus soon discovered his wife's infidelity and planned revenge upon Thyestes. He offered to bury the hatchet and invited him back to Myosine. When Thyestes returned and was being entertained or distracted, Atreus killed his three young boys, Atreus' own nephews, cut off their extremities, cooked their torsos, and served them to Thyestes. Atreus asked Thyestes if he knew that he had been eaten, and then produced their heads and limbs. Thyestes fled, cursing Atreus house. He asked the Delphic Oracle how to get revenge and he was told that he must have a child by Pelopia, his own daughter. Leaving Delphi at night, Thyestes saw by the light of a sacrifice or a sacrificial fire, a fire, a girl going into a stream near Sicyon. He raped her but left his sword behind he did not know that he he did not know that she was in fact pelopia and she did not know who he was atreus soon found while watching or searching thyestes and took her as a new wife replacing the unfaithful arope she bore thyestes son but Atreus thought that this boy was his. Atreus named the boy Agesthus. After many years of searching for Thyestes, Atreus finally sent his two grown sons, Agamemnon and Malinus, to Delphi to find out where Thyestes was. Thyestes happened to be there, seeking new advice on taking revenge on Atreus since he couldn't find his daughter more precisely he didn't know he'd found his daughter Agamemnon and Menelaus called Thyestes back to Mycenae Agamemnon married Clytemnestra but many suitors came to court Helen the most beautiful woman in the world among those women came Odysseus, Diomedes, Talamonian Ajax, Philoctesis, Patroclus, and Menelaus. Odysseus saw that he was going to lose and suggested a solution to the situation to Tyndarus in exchange for Tyndarus, niece Penelope. The oath of Tynodoro stated that each losing suitor would defend the marriage of Helen and to the winner, and that if Helen should ever be forcibly taken away, the other suitors would exact due punishment. Menelunus offered the greatest prize for Helen and won in her marriage. And when Paris stole her away, the mechanisms that launched the Trojan War were all in place. And that is the story, The House of Atreus. Thank you for listening class.